Now, spasticity in its most subtle forms, it's interesting you talked about running because one of its most subtle forms is it sort of takes away coordinated movements such as running. Mm -hmm. And people can walk normally, but if they're just a little bit spastic, they can't run. Um, often the legs are more affected. It can, when it gets more severe, it can affect arms, it can affect bladder, it can affect speech. Uh, sometimes it, it can keep people awake at night because uh, it doesn't, um, uh, it doesn't respect sleep and, and you can have a sudden jerk of your leg that can, can keep you, sometimes your spouse, awake. <laughs> you read my mind there. Yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, exercise is one way, just as you know, as any of us over the age that, that I am, okay. <laughs> uh, when we go out to, to uh, do something athletic, we're tight at first, we, we're not moving smoothly. And just getting into that exercise, stretching those limbs, uh, will make you looser. And sometimes exercise is good for patients with spasticity and loosens them up for maybe an hour or two afterwards.